What is your idea of the perfect date? Mm -hmm. uh, days, then months, then the year. Other formats can be confusing, really. Yeah, I'm still trying to figure out like the whole America, the month, day, year. Why? Why? That doesn't doesn't make any sense. Come on. <laughs> hey everyone, my name is Jacob. Welcome to Technically the Truth, where technically I'm gonna lose my voice if I keep using it so much. Well, no, that's not actually really a technically, but these posts are, so enjoy it. <laughs> there is no such thing as government funded. There is only taxpayer funded. Hey, you don't know that. The government could have like lemonade stands that they all do. Is that taxation? No, it's not. They're, they're funding it themselves. <laughs> Son holding an acorn. So what's this? Oh, it's a tree. Oh, really? In a nutshell, yeah, yeah, it'll be a treat. I got Botox and I asked the doctor, how many years younger will this make me look? And he was like, uh, zero? You'll just look like the other girls your age who have also gotten Botox. Ah, yeah, no, yeah, he's telling it how it is. The average amount of skeletons in a body is technically more than one. Oh. Yeah, no, it is. Oh, and technically, I have more arms than the average person, right? Because it's probably people with one and not many people with three. So I'm above average. <laughs> Imagine you have one million subscribers on YouTube. What would be the fastest way to lose them all? Uh, delete your account. Yes. <laughs> or we don't have a million subscribers, so we can't do it, right? Unless... Unless we get a million subscribers, actually we'll try it. If we get a million subscribers on this video, we won't do it on this video, but you can try, subscribe if you haven't already, and then we're gonna get to a million and then we'll try and lose them all, I guess. <laughs> 10 hours of nothing, yet the dislikes are proof that people can dislike you for literally nothing. 6.4 thousand? Really? Who, who are these 6,400 people? <laughs> Say I or you're gay. Okay, you're gay. Debbie Amaral removed you. I mean, you did ask to say one or the other, and I did. <laughs> While everything is shut down, pave the roads. Yeah, but we need people to pave them though. Just use asphalt instead. You don't want to use people, guy. No, but I mean, you probably could use people. A lot of people did die this year. That's that's messed up. Sorry. <laughs> Brain test. Oh, okay. Imagine you're in a room that is literally impossible to escape from, and you're 100% going to die. How do you get out? Oh. Uh, stop imagining. Aha! That's the only way out, right? <laughs> if you're a male, your peepee -pee is bigger than 49.6% of the population, no matter what. Oh, well there you go, now you feel better about yourself. <laughs> your 20s are for living. Okay? No, no, no. Your whole life is for living. It doesn't matter if you're 21, 23, or 32. As soon as you're 32, no, you can't live. No more living for you. <laughs> Mercy for animals. I'm not a burger. Yeah. Not yet. Ah, don't be so negative. You know, you gotta be optimistic. I wish that Medusa would stop objectifying people, okay? It's 2021. God damn it, really? Really? Yeah, Medusa, she's not very woke, is she? <laughs> Sorry, we are closed due to short staff. Okay then, hire taller staff, because I need a taco. <laughs> I know it's obviously like a fake joke or whatever, but I'm just imagining this like four foot five guy who's just like, Man, I really wish I could reach the taco thing so we could, like, open up again. It's like, God, I need a stool or something. <laughs> in other words, why do we even have laws in the first place? People still get murdered. People still rob stores. The list goes on. Uh, because crime rate definitely wouldn't be lower if laws didn't exist. Well, if laws didn't exist, the crime rate would be zero. He's got a point. Maybe we, we implement this. <laughs> you know that it's cold outside when you go outside and it's cold. Wow. I want this framed or on a t-shirt or something. Like, yes, please. <laughs> Question D. Estimate the heart rate when temperature is 98.7 degrees. Uh, zero beats per minute? I don't think you're gonna be living at, at that temperature. <laughs> My girlfriend is turning 32 soon. I've told her not to get her hopes up. After all, I say we're only going to be celebrating it for half a minute. When she asks what in the world I was talking about, I pointed out, this is your 32nd birthday. Get it? 
30 seconds? Nice. <laughs> Escalator are temporarily stairs. Because it's broken. <laughs> so, yeah, it still works, cat. You can still walk up it, alright? First day as a bartender. Customer, I'll have the martini. Dry. Me, staring at all the liquid ingredients. I don't know how to tell you this. I I don't think I can do it. <laughs> Sometimes I think about the guy at my poker table in Vegas who was kicked out after the pit boss said he was too drunk. It was a high bar. Security came over, asked him to say the alphabet starting with M, and he replied, mm, alphabet? He was escorted out of the room. No, no, that, that he should have been let in. That's good. <laughs> R slash ask Reddit. What's a non-sexual thing that you find super hot? Uh, molten lava. Hi there, geologist here. Can confirm molten lava or magma are very hot. Yeah, he wasn't lying, guys. <laughs> when you ask for someone's name, you're essentially asking them what noise you should make to get their attention. Why would you think of it like that? Huh? I mean, you could just go, excuse me, that's not their name, all right? <laughs> Describe pizza in three words. Okay, circle, but triangle. Oh, oh, that's, that's smart. 28 years heroin free. How old am I, you ask? Well, I'm 28 years old. I've never took heroin in my life. I'm so proud. You know what? That's, that's actually pretty good. Congratulations, man. That, yes. Is Helen Keller immune to flashbangs? If I was to let off a flashbang next to Helen Keller, would she even know it's there? Uh, no. She died 50 years ago. You could you could do this to any dead person, it would work. All I'm saying though is, Mythbusters episode, we bring them back, we bring Helen Keller back. As soon as we have the technology, we find out, does she get affected by flashbangs? Huh? I wanna know, is she, is she like a really good Call of Duty player? Like, she's just immune. <laughs> okay guys, Jesus promised to rid the world of sin, but we still have sin. Odin promised to rid the world of the ice giants. Have you seen any ice giants lately? Hmm? No? Okay. <laughs> 1970s, a satanic cult attempt to possess a car. Wait, isn't it sort of easy to possess a car? Like, you just inhabit it physically and then make it do whatever you want. So, technically, we all possess car- yeah? <laughs> what is the strangest thing that you have in your fridge? Uh, I had a book in my fridge a while back. Wait, what? That probably was the coolest book I ever had. <sighs> yeah, yeah. I, can, I would try and exhale from my nose, but it's blocked. <laughs> my wife just completed a 40-week bodybuilding program this morning. Oh, wow. It's a girl and weighs 7 pounds, 12 ounces. Ah, that there it is. This is the perfect dad joke because it literally made you a dad. Uh, no, it made him a daughter. Come on. <laughs> Black Widow should be dropped on Disney Plus immediately. No, well, if you want to see Black Widow drop on Disney Plus, jump to 152.50 in Avengers Endgame. Y you'll see it. You'll, you'll definitely see it. <laughs> Is it a crime to throw sodium chloride in your enemy's eyes? Judge? Uh, yes, that's assault. No, 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 no. I know it's assault, but is it a crime? Oh, we're gonna be here for a while. <laughs> what do you think about gay marriage? Uh-oh. Nah, it's pretty gay, to be honest. No, yeah, you can't, you can't argue with that. <laughs> if you put Alaska on top of the continental United States, as you can see there, a lot of people would die. Like, a lot. D jokes aside, though, that's huge. I didn't think it was that big. <laughs> okay, so. The samurai were officially abolished as a caste in Japanese society during the Meiji Restoration in 1867. Okay, the first ever fax machine, the printing telegraph, was invented in 1843, and Abraham Lincoln was famously assassinated at Ford's Theater in 1865, which means there was a 22-year window in which a samurai could have sent a fax to Abraham Lincoln. Oh, oh, okay. <laughs> That's actually something I really find like fascinating. But I do want to know what a samurai would say to Abraham Lincoln. Like, 
duck or something. They probably wouldn't know that at the other time. But but I want to know. I want to see a picture of this as well. Do we have a picture or is that too far behind? When was the first camera made? <laughs> You're offered $50,000, but if you accept it, the person you hate most in the entire world gets $100,000. Are you taking it? Uh, this is called having a job. So, yeah. Why not? Who's not gonna take 50k? <laughs> we got different SPFs and different oils, apparently. Raspberry seed oil, SPF 20. Coconut oil, SPF 30. Olive oil and SPF 50. And it looks like that. Okay, it's something about people using oil for sunscreen bothers me because my brain just keeps saying oil plus sun equals cooking. I mean, yeah. That's what it's doing. <laughs> Yo, where were you born? Oh, I was born in Nepal. Which part? Wait, what do you mean by which part? My whole body was born in Nepal. It wasn't a 50-50 split, guys. <laughs> I actually have dual citizenship because half of me was born here and half of me was born here. So you can go visit my country of origin. Multiple, yeah, there's multiple. Click it and subscribe. Remember, one million subscribers and then we'll try and delete them all. I probably won't delete, but we'll try and lose them, all right? Go. <laughs>